This is a sweet speech. Since US President Donald Trump said that the United States asks European allies to take back over 800 ISIS fighters and put them on trial, this topic has been discussed in Europe. Sweden is no exception. And that's what we'll, we will address in this video. Before we get started, I want to thank all of my financial supporters. This is my day job. Without you, this channel would not be possible. So as I said, since US President Donald Trump tweeted that the United States asks the European allies to take back over 800 ISIS fighters and put them on trial, this topic has been discussed in Europe. In Britain, Shamima Begum, a British citizen who ran away to the Islamic State when she was 15 years old to marry an Islamic State terrorist, has been stripped of her British citizenship. The now 19-year-old has appeared unrepentant in a series of interviews. She still believes in Islamism, or as it really is, Islam. So I say, good job, Britain. Her parents' native country, Bangladesh, doesn't want her either. I say that she can stay where she is in the remaining part of the Islamic State until she is captured and sentenced by the Kurds who are fighting the Islamic State. In Sweden, where it's not a crime to have participated in Islamic State atrocities, the city of Stockholm is planning to contact people returning from the Islamic State by sending them letters and calling them. Yes, you heard right. Letters and phone calls. There are still Swedish citizens and people who used to live in Sweden in the Islamic State and when interviewed, these people claim to have all traveled to the Islamic State to help, to drive ambulances, to cook, as healthcare personnel. As far as I know, not a single one has admitted to actually have participated in Islamic State atrocities. So then, everything's okay, right? Wrong. First of all, there is no reason whatsoever to believe them. Second of all, they, they joined a terrorist organization at war with everyone who doesn't adhere to Wahhabist Islam. This includes at war with Sweden. Why should Sweden allow these murderers and terrorists to return to Sweden? And this includes if they happen to be Swedish citizens, even if they are not dual citizens and only Swedish citizens. They are traitors in the real sense of the word and should not be allowed to enter Sweden. In Denmark, joining ISIS is illegal, since Denmark has declared the Islamic State to be an enemy of Denmark, and it is treason to fight for an enemy of Denmark. Hanif Bali, member of parliament in Sweden for the moderate coalition party, has advocated that Sweden does the same thing, but nothing has happened. The Sweden Democrats have put forth motions about this in parliament, but these motions have been voted down. Hanif Bali has said that Swedish politicians should apologize to the Swedish people for not protecting the country against these terrorists. Hanif Bali and Jimmy Åkesson, leader of the Sweden Democrats, have both said that ISIS terrorists are no longer to be considered Swedes. I agree. And let me make two things absolutely clear here. One, there is no difference between men and women here. The women who joined ISIS and married ISIS terrorists knew what they were doing. They can stay where they are. Two, your ethnicity doesn't matter. Even if you're an ethnic Swede with only a Swedish citizenship, you should be stripped of it and denied to enter Sweden. Sweden could send money to the Kurds to fund prisons for ISIS terrorists, or send money to pay for the ropes in which the Kurds hanged terrorists. Well, not everyone in Sweden shares my views, obviously. Prime Minister Stefan Löfven has said that Sweden should not help anyone to return to Sweden, but he doesn't want to remove their Swedish, and Swedish citizenships. Andreas Pettersson, doctor of laws and a lecturer at Södertörn College, where he teaches future police officers, recently tweeted, quote, Can't we just make an exchange with Syria? We take the ISIS terrorists home, and they take Tobé, Kristersson, Åkesson and the editorial board of Göteborgs Posten and Svenska Dagbladet. Unquote. Tobé is a moderate coalition party politician. Kristersson is the leader of said party. Åkesson is the leader of the Sweden Democrats. Göteborgs Posten and Svenska Dagblad are newspapers where the editorial boards sometimes are somewhat conservative. And those are the people that Mr. Pettersson would like to send in Syria for exchange for terrorists, murderers and rapists. Let that sink in. So, I'm pessimistic when it comes to Sweden. Sadly, I believe that ISIS terrorists who are able to come back to Sweden will be left alone. Well, maybe, well, may, maybe except for a letter or a phone call from their municipality in Sweden. 
So this does not look well for Sweden. It has been reported that ISIS fighters who have already returned are recruiting future terrorists in Malmö. Sweden needs to shape up. The Swedish mentality, the idea that all conflicts can be solved by drinking a cup of coffee and talking about things will not work here. Either Swedish voters and Swedish politicians realize this and start fighting the totalitarian ideology of Islam or Sweden turns into a caliphate. This is not a drill. And that's what I have to say about this. What do you think? Comment below. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate any donations. Even a dollar makes a difference. If everyone who watched this channel gave one dollar, it would transform this channel. Just take a look at the links below. But if you really can't financially support this channel, I would be very grateful if you would share a link to one of your favorite videos from this channel on your social media, because ad revenue also helps. Also, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. M most importantly, please pray for this channel and remember to check out my live stream on Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 11.30 p.m. Central European Time. Until next time, have a nice day, thank you for watching and God bless.